All right, so we are looking at composite angles. Composite angles are nothing more than really elaborate angles, and we need to solve for the letters in this case. So in this specific one, we're looking at this, which is a right angle, so we know it equals 90 degrees. We know all three of these angles together are going to equal 90 degrees, and our goal is to figure out what x equals. So let's do this. x plus 2x plus 27 equals 90. And I wrote that equation because I added up all three and I set it equal to 90, which is a right angle. From here, combine the x's, set it equal to 90, take the 27 to the other side, turn it negative. This is going to become now, and I'm going to go right here, 3x equals 90 minus 27 is 63. Divide both sides by 3, cross it off. X is going to equal 21. That is the answer. We know what X equals. It equals 21. All right, so let's look at this next one. First thing you need to know is this is not going to be using a right angle, but this is using a full circle. Now, full circles are 360 degrees. So let's first do this. Let's go through and add up all of our x values. So we have a 10 plus 2 is 12 plus 3 is 15x. Now let's add our constants. So we have 120, 130 plus 50 more is going to be 180. And we're going to set that equal to 360 degrees, which is a full circle. The 180 will go over, turn negative. That'll be 15x equals 360 minus 180 is actually, let's see, it is 180. So 15x equals 180. Divide both sides by 15 now. Those cross off, and x will equal and x will equal 12, because 180 divided by 15 is 12. So again, because it's a full circle, we set it equal to 360. Add your letters, add your constants, take your constant over, change the left sign. 15x came down, 360 minus 180 is 180. Divide both sides by 15, and you get a 12. All right, for our next one, so once again, this is 360 degrees. For this task, we want to figure out what each one of these letters are. So this one's a little bit trickier, and here's why. We know that there are two different letters, okay? So we have two different types of letters. Let's first do this. We know that 148 plus 2x, so just this angle alone makes a straight line, which is 180 degrees. So knowing that, we're going to solve for just this letter x. So to do that, I'm going to say 2x plus 148 equals 180. Now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to take the 148 to the other side and turn it negative. That's 148. 2x comes down, so 180 minus 48 is 32. So now from here, we will divide both sides by 2, and x is going to be equal to 16. Now this is important because now we're going to take the 16, and we are going to plug it in for this x. The reason being is because we want to look at just one side. We know x is 16, and we can even put that up here, because that's half the answer. We need to now figure out what y is. We know that this whole side is 180 degrees. So we would say, well, what's 3 times 16? That's going to be 48. So this is 48 this specific angle right here. Instead of 3x, it is 48. So we would say 48 plus 47. We're going to add those two together. Let me do that real quick. 
we get 95. Whoops, let me change my pen. So 95 plus y equals 180. From here, take your 95 over. Subtract. y is going to equal 85. So there are your two answers, x and y. So remember, you wanted to look at half of it. We know half of it's a straight line, where these angles are supplementary, thus why we set it equal to 180. Solved for x. Once we had x, we took it, put it back in. 3 times 16 gave us 48. We said 48 plus the 47 is 95. 95 plus this missing y gave us another straight line, subtract the 95, and we're left with y equaling 85, and that's where we get our two answers from. All right, so for this one, one of the things we have to be understood is these two lines right here, A, B, and C, D, those are parallel. So that means they're never going to touch across. This line coming across is called the transversal. So that's very important we know that. And our goal here is we have to figure out what the letters K, M, and P equal. K, M, and P. Those are the three letters we need to figure out. So let's use a bunch of the rules we learned about supplementary angles and adjacent angles and vertical angles. So the first thing I notice is right here. This right here forms 180 degrees. So this angle plus this angle equals 180. So we would say 5M plus 35 is going to equal 180 which would be 5m equals, and 180 minus the 35, minus 35 is 145. And if we divide both sides by 5, m is 29. So right away, we know m is going to be 29. So, this angle right here is 145 degrees. This is important that we know this because this angle above is going to be 145. This angle and this angle are equal. That means that P is going to be 145 degrees. So now we know both M and P. And the other thing that we're going to be realizing is 35 and the 7K are also equal because they are alternating exterior angles. These two angles right here, these two angles right here are equal. So 7 times what equals 35? K would be 5. So there's a number of different ways you can solve this, but it's a lot of looking at what's there, looking at your rules, looking at the rules of alter alternating exterior angles, alternating interior angles, vertical angles, things of that nature. More than one way you could have solved this problem, this is just one specific way. Okay, so let's look at this. First thing we need to know, triangles. We know that their interior angles add up to 180 degrees. That's going to be very important. We want to know what angle 1 and angle 2 are. So to do this, first off, we know right here is 180 degrees. It's a straight line. So if this part is 123, the other side would be 180 minus 123, giving us 57. Also, our other angle up top, this is 180 degrees. So 180 minus 118, this is going to be 62. So we have a 57 degrees, we have a 62 degrees. We know this plus this plus this are going to equal 180. So we'll add 57 and 62. That's a 919. And now we'll do 180 minus 119. We have to borrow. 10 minus 9 is 1. 7 minus 1 is 6. 61 degrees. Whoops, that's a degree symbol. So our two 
numbers we're looking for. Angle 2 is 61, angle 1 is 57. This material is a little bit different. It's pretty elaborate. It's going to be intense. It's going to take some practice. You're going to have to look for the clues that are given and solve accordingly. If you got questions, let me know. Well, see you later. Bye.